Hi, I'm Sven from Black Forest Solar. Today, I'm gonna to show you a total solar pumping system that operates without a battery. We're gonna get started right now. The entire solar pumping system fits in both these bags. The first bag holds the solar panel system and a 45 degree tunnel support. This weighs about 20 pounds. The second bag holds the pump, the hose, an extension cord and switch, and some small connectors for the hose. This weighs about 15 pounds. So this system is 100% portable and easy to carry off. You can just put the backpack on, you can sling the solar panels over your shoulder, and then you're ready to walk anywhere. It's really easy and convenient. This entire system is pre-hooked up and ready to go. There's no installation required. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up real quick for you. It should take about two minutes. So that's how easy it is to set up the system. We have all the components out now. So now we just need to plug everything up and then we're in business. First, we have our 12 volt, 400 watt panel system. The wire is coming right off it. So we take our extension cord, which is about 25 feet, plug it directly into the panels. We plug the other end of that into the pump. Okay, then we can turn our pump on and off. Of course, you shouldn't run it dry like I am right now. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. Next, we've got our standard two inch hose with quick cam lock connectors. You don't need to use the cam lock connectors to get your hose onto your pump. We give you the connectors in case you wanna add more length of hose later. So if you're gonna be pumping up to four or 500 feet, maybe more, we've got connectors for you here. And we include a nice little screwdriver that fits in your bag so you can fasten your hose to your pump with these clamps. So now let's get to the fun part. This is a really strong, lightweight pump. It can do up to 4,500 gallons per hour right out of the nozzle. Uh, that's at zero head in the best case scenario. Of course, in real life situations, you're never gonna get that amount. Probably a safe assumption that you'll get at least half of that. It's a brush motor and it's relatively inexpensive. The downside to it is the life is only somewhere between seven and 800 hours. So if you're pumping every day, uh, you'll probably get about six months out of it and then you'll have to replace it. But like I said, it's relatively inexpensive. If you need something that's gonna last longer, uh, we do have different pumps available, just check in on our videos for those. But for purposes of convenience, portability, and maximum power, this is a really good choice. We're going to toss in the water so you can see what it looks like. I we'll think you'll like it. Okay, you can see that is a pretty healthy amount of water flow. All right, this container is filled up with a few gallons. Sorry, I didn't have enough time to measure it, but let's see how fast it can empty this. That's pretty quick, it looks to be about maybe five gallons. Okay, now we're gonna get into a real world pumping situation. We've got about five feet ahead right here, so let's have some fun. All right, so I'm gonna get this 50 foot, two inch hose onto the pump. And it actually looks like we've got about six feet ahead. I'm gonna curl it around the solar panel system up to the sidewalk. I'm gonna curl it back. I'm gonna try to get it to where the water comes out right here so you can see the flow. There's gonna be a lot of things affecting your water flow. The amount of sun, the head, the length of distance that you're pumping, obviously, and even something that's not thought of too often, the type of hose you're using. This is a flexible, woven, collapsible hose. You know, if you're using a fixed system, a fixed piping system, it's obviously gonna be a lot less friction loss. Uh, another thing, it's winter right now, February 4th, Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm out here on a beautiful day pumping. It's a little bit hazy, it's not perfect. It is still winter, so we're not getting the full amount of sun that we would be getting in the summer. So during the winter, you're gonna get slightly less power, and during the summer, you're gonna be set. When you're setting your hose, absolutely make sure there's no tangles, or that'll really mess up your water flow. Normally, you wouldn't wanna do it the way I'm doing it right now. Uh, you would probably put a crate with the screen into the water so that can hold the pump in place. So let's go ahead and check it out. So that water flow looks pretty healthy. Again, we've got about six feet ahead, 50 feet of length. It's curled around. Uh, I've got a few knots, which isn't a good thing, but there we go. That's much better. Went ahead and fixed the knot. It looks like the hose is actually stuck in between two rocks. Now the water flow is looking much more healthy. 
I don't have the ability to move the camera right now, so I'm going to take the video on my phone so you can have a better close-up. There we go. The application you're seeing right now is about what you want to use this for. Very low head, something near the water. If you need something different, like a deep well pump or a more powerful system, we're building those. This runs without a battery, but we also do have a system, a package, to where it comes with battery cables and a solar charge controller to where you can plug your battery in. So if it's a cloudy day with some clouds moving overhead, you'll still be able to operate this pumping system without a problem. This particular system does not come with battery cables because there are some people out there who really don't want to be using batteries. If you want to pick up one of these systems, just run over to blackforestsolar.com and you can purchase it directly there. We're going to be doing a lot more videos on different pumping situations, different lengths of hose, different heads, deep wells, surface pumps, you name it. So we're gonna be doing it. And especially, we know that you guys want more information on how these systems work. We know you want more accurate predictions of water flow with different heads. If you guys have any comments, feel free to reach out to us. We're always available. Uh, we're a little slow to respond to YouTube comments, but if you email us directly, info at blackforcesolar.com, we'll get back to you within 24 hours. If you wanna keep up to date with us, either subscribe on YouTube, or go to blackforestsolar.com, subscribe to our newsletter, send us your email, and then whenever new videos come out, we'll send you an email directly. So thanks again for watching our video, and we'll see you soon.